Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. Today in this video, let's solve the one of the majorly asked question in the forum, which is this. From a couple of days, so many people are asking me this question that the table, the book table didn't get created when we run the application, which means the Hibernate is not able to create the table when we run the application. So I think uh, this is the right time to answer those questions. Let's try to solve that problem today in this video. I don't know why you guys are facing that uh, error or an issue, but when I was developing that application, I didn't face any such kind of issues. So anyway, let's try to solve that problem. So what we can do is let's minimize this and let's open our book API project and go to the property file, db.properties file. So what we can do is instead of creating the hibernate creating the table let's we only create the table and try to run the application okay so what i will do is i'm going to comment this hibernate.hbm to ddl.auto property let's comment this out save this and go to your web config it's not a web config yes it's app config and uh, here we are reading that hibernate property so let's comment this as well and save this now go to the mysql database let's create a database i'll create a new query tab let's create a table create database the database name i think it's a book api copy this book api and create a table create table book you can give any name you want id which is an integer type and it should be a primary key and it's an auto increment the next thing is title it's a wire cal let's add the length 255 and it's a not null the third property is author which is also in wire cal 255 its length and not null. Now let's try to use the database. Now select all. Now execute these commands and the table and the database has been created. So now go to the project and open your model class which is book.java. And here we have to do some couple of changes. So first remove this and add one more annotation to the class add the rate table. Control shift O, it will import the table. Which is from Java X dot persistent dot table. And we have to add the add the rate column to all the properties we have to tell hibernate that these are the columns so at column which is also from java x dot persistence package at the rate column and at the rate column now save this and right click on the project click run on server click next click finish all right the application is started and it is opening in a new tab so this is our uh, url so let's open in a postman so now we have a get method which is a book slash api slash book api slash api slash book and here is our post method so let's try to add this record or let's try to create this book record so when I click the send button you can see that the message book has been created with the ID one so let's verify this in a database so I write a query select star from book execute the command you can see that the record has been created in the database you can check another API which is slash API slash book which will display all the records in the database 
when I click the send button you can see that the records that we have just now we have added so this is one of the problem that everyone asking me in forum and personally emailing me so i hope this video is helped you in one or the other way so if you have any questions please leave your comments in the comment section or post your questions in the discussion forum i will try to answer your questions and one more thing if you find this help this course is helped you in one or the other way then please leave a positive feedback about this course and please a five star rating to my course and help other students to know about this course please share this course with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel the link will be given in the description section i constantly update my youtube videos and i'll try to add more videos on my youtube for awesome tech videos please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i'm working on my next project which is creating a web application using spring boot and angular that's i'm going to publish it soon in udemy which is also a free course and uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.